when we want to understand the impact of climate on biology or biosphere, we have to remember that the very essential part of biology is the growth rate or metabolic rates and the selection of sex ratios, male versus female. It turns out that the selection of sex, whether the fetus will grow up to be a male or a female, often depends on many environmental factors like temperature, rainfall and so on. So this is important because it, with the natural seasonal change, you have natural climate variability. Monsoon, for example, can be strong in one year, weak in another year and so on. That you expect will affect the sex ratio of some buffaloes and so on in Africa, for example, which is the example I will discuss here. But there are also changes being created by global warming. So we need to understand how global warming will affect various species and the sex selection ratio. Why does it matter? Because if you have too many males and very few females, that will affect the population growth into the future. So here it is showing the sex ratio among the fetuses and calves or young babies of an African buffalo for different seasons. 95, 96 was a wet season. 96 later in the year was a dry season. Later part of 96, nine, early part of 97 again was a wet season. 97 again was a dry season. These are often related to a phenomenon called El Nino, but we don't have to worry about it now. This is showing essentially the ratio of male proportion for fetuses and young calves. And you can see that in the wet season, the ratios are very different than in dry seasons. This, depending on how long the buffalo lives, will carry the impact throughout its lifespan. So if you are born in a season which was wet, then you have a different ratio of male to female that will affect the population growth in the next generation. If you're born in a dry season, you have a very different ratio of male to female. So the survival of the fetus that grows up to be a calf also depends on uh, the season and the availability of food, etc. So the, there are biological reasons why the sex selection itself depends on the environmental factors. One of the more severe impacts of this is seen in the impact of global warming on so-called feminization of one of the largest sea turtle population all over the world. The sea turtles that migrate hundreds of miles, the ocean is warming very rapidly in many places and this is beginning to affect the sex ratio and more and more females are being born or the sex selection is tilting heavily towards female population in these sea turtles which obviously will affect how many will survive into the future because fewer uh, males means the reproduction, fertility, everything goes down. So we have to worry about these complicated influences of climate variability and climate change and global warming on the sex ratio of various species. So we need to understand that to know how the species extinction may be affected indirectly through sex selection.